चलो और भी देखी हो The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, "God loved the world so much that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him may not be lost but may have eternal life. For God sent His Son into the world." not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. On these grounds is sentence pronounced, that though the light has come into the world, Men have shown that pre they prefer darkness to light, because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it, for fear his actions should be exposed. But the man who lives by the truth comes out into the light, so that it may be plainly seen. That what he does is done in God. This is the gospel of the Lord. Uh, let us be seated for a while, virtually or ritual, uh, literally. But the man who lives by truth. The person who lives by truth comes out into the light, so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. In these first weeks following Easter, we are celebrating who we have become through Christ's resurrection. In a sense. The Easter period is a particularly intense time for celebrating, as it were, the Christian self, what a Christian person is through and with God. Today, I'd like us to continue our meditation between the relationship and nature of dreams and the significance of. Faith in our life. Through the help of uh, Melinda Powell's book, *The Hidden Lives of Dreams*, we try to explore. We are trying to explore the significance of faith. How important faith in our life is. And I found uh, a few thoughts from her book, which. Can be a good model, which can model further the life of faith in us. In the second chapter of his books, now she goes into kind of scientific and medical details. What happens in the deep structures of the brain when we are sleeping? Uh, one can be amazed. How vital function, how important things are taking place while the human person, body and mind is asleep. So I'm quoting from her. When we sleep and dream, in the deep brain structure of the hippocampus. Recent events, or memories, what happened to us in the previous day, recent events are consolidated into long-term memories. Whatever we experience during our day, during being awake, uh, consciously, unconsciously, 
every memory, every event, every act of ours, every thought of ours, every feeling and emotion of ours somehow is put into our memory. And during the night, all these memories, all these sensory memories are processed and put into their own places. Either we dream about it or not, but these memories become part of who we are. And these memories become not simply part of who we are, but these memories are the building blocks of ourself. So, I imagine that every single night another layer is added uh, to the edifice, to the building of ourself, who we are. And these layers remain in the background and those memories influence and constitute who we are. So in the process, the sensory input from waking life is transformed into memories. Why this storing of memories is so important? Because it is through embedding these memories, storing these memories, through which our self is born. Our self, the sense who we are, comes from this night process to a great extent. That is why sleep is a vital for function for all of us. And Melinda uh, Powell also highlights another important function, what happens to us while we are in our night sleep. When we sleep, our body temperature falls by 2 or 3 degrees, and the pulse short, slows. And this slowing down of our body allows the cerebrospinal fluid, a fluid generated by an organ by the central nerve system, so it allows this special cerebrospinal fluid to wash away the waste produ produ products of cell metabolism. Uh, importantly, this fluid running through our veins appears to wash out the protein thought to be responsible for the shrinkage of grey matter found in patients with Alzheimer's disease. So, to put it bluntly, our night sleep is like a, a thorough wash of our brain and all our capillaries and all our veins, removing, particularly from the brain, those proteins which otherwise would build up. And Alzheimer's disease is caused by these blockages, these build-up. Thus, a chronic lack of sleep may significantly contribute to an increased risk of Alzheimer's. Perhaps, and this is the point I'd like to make, perhaps we can apply these two functions to the significance of faith in a person's life. Yesterday in our Bible group we reflected on the nature of faith. We came up with many, many, many images. Perhaps we could see faith in our lives as veins, as the vein system circulating the blood in a body. So faith is like veins, like capillaries. Um, they are very important. They are carrying important life within us. Faith is so real that we should really pay attention to its life-giving function. And similar to what happens to us in the, in the light sleep and deep sleep periods, we could call it our sleep time with God when we pray 
when we meditate, it's a, it's a very calm experience. It's different from our daylight activities. Um, so our life with God, our prayer life with God, is also important. The peace and prime time we spend with God in prayer on a different level is also laying down memories in us. The person who prays on a regular pay ba uh, basis, one who has what is called spiritual life, is given an extra support to process the events and memories of life. And while God's life in us, being in us, uh, the events of life become a deeper part of our self. So through faith, we are also laying down memories that serve to underpin our sense of self. So can we speak of the beneficial functions of faith in building up the self, the Christian self? Or in the negative, can we speak of the negative consequences of sleep deprivation on this level? Sleep deprivation in our context means prayer deprivation. When someone is deprived of prime time with God, when some, uh, someone does not have the experience of sharing life and faith with God. In order to have a stable life, in order to have, to have a stable sense of the self, in order to build up resilience, uh, we need this time of prayer, this time of dreaming with God. The balanced life needs this experience. We need this deep sleep of our rational, ego-focused self. So, when receiving today's Eucharist, let us receive the body and blood of Christ as literally a mysterious life entering into us and we entering this mysterious life. Let God be God in our rational life and in, in our unconscious. Let us, let God, our memories, so um, let us, our memories and life be imbued with God, with his life-giving presence. Amen.